That's how to score, and who's going to manage to do that in this one? Competing in blue from Hungary. Make some noise, please. Oh, here he comes, the defending European champion, and Sarah, wherever he goes, he's a problem for anyone. He is, he's gapped all of his opponents this season, so Polak Gorkim is really going to have to be on his A game. Yeah, he will indeed. The young man, fresh from his and Tokyo his Olympic Ingrid Games experience. Well, Polak Gorkim, the world junior silver medalist, the biggest occasion for him so far, and big moments indeed as we go into this. Of course, three times two minute rounds. There will be new rules in Taekwondo, but thankfully, Sarah, not yet. Thankfully, not for tonight, because it would have been very difficult and confusing, but we will be ready for when it is, won't we, John? We sure will. That will be in June. But here in the moment, the man of the moment, will it be Omar Gergely Salim or will it be Polak Gorkim? as they get themselves ready for this one. Tazagul serve at the Olympic champion, the coach in the corner, but a special coaching corner for Team Hungary. Yeah, it, we have, it's incredible to see them here. We sadly lost Joseph Salim, the uncle of Omar Salim, very recently. So the whole of the Taekwondo family, the Taekwondo world have been in huge mourning for him. So for Omar to be here tonight in the final is such a homage to Joseph. It most certainly is a friend to many. But it's no friends now, it's all business for both men. And of course, you can see the, the little tests are done. But the true test begins. Eyes down, looking. A slight height difference for Polak Gorkin. But the long limbs of Omar Salim been very accurate, tries with a little step-in chop kick over the shoulder, well blocked there. The Turk will be more than aware of his talents, good strength in the inside there. From Gorkin, punch, a little sign of intent, and things just beginning, Sarah, to heat up. You see a lot of strength from Gorkin, you know, Salim, of course, is very aggressive, but a punch scored by Gorkin, taking it to 1-0 for him, that's showing his strength. Equal strength in response there, Omar Salim, the power punch. Pops one on the protector. <laughs> Team Turkey cheering, but it will be the big cheer for Omar Salim as he lands a big punch again. Follows that with a nice body shot, Sarah. Incredible there from Salim. A headshot done with a chop kick from a great distance. As you say, going ahead there. Three points to the good. Tolak Gorkim. The Turk in red beginning to feel the power and variety of Omar Salim. You mentioned the, the fighting Salim family. Just the little sister's a bit of a champion as well. Training with the Zlatan Ibrahimovic back in LA, the famous footballer. Oh, yes, yes, I did know that. See, Gorkim has done, he, his tactics are really, really great really keeping Joe's at Salim's left leg at bay. Tries to find the shot on the way through. The counter, as you say, managed to sneak under that attempted defence there from the Turk. Into the last 40 seconds. Little flick to the face there, scores nicely. Excellent shot. Two headshots in a row as you can see, completely changes the game. Gorkin now leading 8-6, going to the last 30 seconds of the first round. Well, making it a one-point game with that punch, as you see, 30 becomes 20. The business end of this first round. Good response from Gorkin. Takes the gam jump. Signals to Servet, the coach, who says, no, thank you, we're not going to keep that card. As Omar Salim tries with the chop kick to the body, counter punch in the inside, restores that three point lead. And in terms of a, a first round, Sarah Stevenson, as we come to the end of it, high quality. Exactly that, incredible first round. Ooh, headshot just out of time there, but just showing Gokem that this is not over yet. Yeah, no question about it. 
and of course we, we spoke there about the you know the, the tragic loss at a young age of his uncle there but it's, it's about focus now it's, that'll be the furthest thing from their mind and the, okay it will be as you said lovely as an homage to that and to honor him but of course his own career, what he's done so far, he wouldn't even have made it to the Tokyo Olympics if it wasn't for the pandemic. Oh, yes, because of the age and the delay of the Olympic Games. So, yes, they've done that to a lot of athletes, didn't they? You know, one year, here or there, can change someone's life completely. Talk to us trying to change the life completely. Was that man there on the left of your screen as you look at it in the suit jacket? As well. That's Tazagul Serbia, right. Olympic champion of Turkey. Trying to go some to match that quality, Polak Gorfin, the man in red. But he's certainly been the main man so far. Omar Salim has not conceded this amount of points all day long. So the Turk turning on the style here. Opening of the second round, tries to go again with the headshot. Response from Salim. Salim has been the one that's been the aggressor for the whole day. But Gorkin has not given him that opportunity. Yeah, as you said, not given the opportunity. Good evasive work there. The big spin kick from Omar Salim slipping past the head. But slipping onto the board again. I think that's punch number four, five. Lots of punches scored in this match. They can really change a game. And also a sign that he's managing that distance. Your arms, of course, shorter than your legs. So getting into that close distance anticipating the work of Gorkum. Not as accurate with that one there. A minute and some change left in the second. Going to be a ganjum to kicking out to Calio and a ganjum never going out of the ring. Maybe not then. Yeah, I think he got away with one there. Maybe the referee called Calio, but it was certainly on the outer reaches of that red section. The punch lines again for Gorkum, turning the tables on Omar Salim. This is when we're going to see, though, John, the skill and the variation from Omar Salim. Well, we've certainly seen the variation. We see a call now for the video review card. And I think they're looking for a head kick. That was the signal given by the Hungarian coach. Let's see if we can hear. Yeah, head kick was the, was the call, so they're going to test, I should say, the head guards rather than looking for that head kick. So you can ask for a test at any point. Test successful. So the sensors on the socks match up to the sensors on the head and the body. And the electronic system working well. But all to fight for. can really close it up for him right now. Well, he certainly is, but walks into a back leg turning kick, as you said there. Got into that distance, goes with another headshot over the shoulder. And as he pulls his opponent to the ground, is it going to be waved off? Well, the referee had a little look there. Overruled. 17-16 becomes 18 from six points down, Sarah, to two points up. Exactly, that's what I mean. You'd that double headshot, you'd block the first one. But then keeping that leg up, going for a second one, it just shows the incredible athleticism of this game today. And there is that headshot, saw the punch coming, was happy to concede the one point to take the three over the shoulder. And it is Gorkum looking over his shoulder now because Omar Salim going off into the distance. Good shot again from the Turk, turning on the power too, Sarah. Completely changed now of who is in control of this match. And that was in about 30 seconds. It just shows you how exciting Taekwondo can, can be. And also, as we approach the, the, you know, the business end of this second round, a good shot there from Gorkum, keeping myself in that conversation, 24-18. But there's a bit of the, the showman about Omar Salim as well. He loves the big occasion. Some people thrive on the big occasion. Of course, here, uh, Omar Salim and our very own Jay Jones, you know, Bianca Walton, right? And, all our big stars at the UK here, this is, we have incredible events, so they are used to this, so then we can give them the opportunity, ready for that Olympic Games, thriving on that big stage. As you see, the big stage, where they can thrive on the atmosphere, but trying to turn the tables a little bit here, 
for that Gorkin. Well, he will have seen, and maybe you have as well, a couple of para taekwondo gold medals for Team Turkey. He'll be dearly hoping to keep that success rate up for his team, but work to be done, but pretty handy to have someone like that in your corner, Sarah. I mean, for both sides, incredible athletes themselves turn into incredible coach. I mean, look at the quality of these, of these athletes. What they're producing is, is amazing. Certainly amazing awaits for this third round. And that's the tale of it so far. The head kicks giving the lead to the man in blue as they both go for gold in this one. The third and potentially final round. You could have a golden score round if required. But Omar Salim, the man in blue, hungry for success. <laughs> Did you like that? You had to get one in there, didn't you, John? <laughs> this is going to be two minutes of high action. You can just see that they are both know that they both have to attack. If either one of them goes back, game over. Yep, no corner given or conceded, but conceding a little shot on the inside there. A punch for Gorkin, keeping himself still within six. But it's been six of the best so far from Omar Salim. He's been landing with great freedom and quality, but also there's a maturity to him. It's not just a reckless, consistent kicking. I think he's taken a round or so to really see that quality of his control of the match. In the first match, he was a little bit more, a little bit too relaxed. But he's now, you can see that strength coming into his stance, his body language, his control, his dominance. And again, for someone so young and both so young, it's really great to see. Yeah, no question about it. You mentioned that Polak Gorkin, the world junior silver medalist, just coming through. So a big occasion to get to the European finals. He eats a big punch. But he's certainly done himself proud so far. But the six-point game becomes eight with just about a minute left in this third round. Headshot attempted there. Decent tactics from Gorkin. Salim sees it coming. Great punch again. The front leg from Gorkin as o Omar Salim comes in is a great tactic because Omar Salim is not going back. He does not go back. So almost catching him on the way in is a great opportunity, but just missing out. No, you're absolutely right. It's the reading of the distance, and this one is going the distance. No backward steps from the man in blue. Can he step onto the podium? Just a whisker away there with that headshot again, but this one lands from Gorkin. Is he back in the conversation? Is there time? 30 seconds will tell us. Absolutely incredible from Gorkin. Again, that middle distance shot, that technique, perfect for that second headshot. Yeah, as you see, perfect precision with that second headshot. Can he find another one? Gorkin creates the gam jump. 32 to 28, it's getting closer. Last 15 seconds or so, a pivotal headshot required. Salim on the back foot, front leg to the face, tries with a spin. Will it be a win with a spin for the man in blue as he marches toward gold? Gorkin trying to fire his way forward, the Turk eats a punch on the way through. The clock ticks down, the ambitions of the Turk were impressive, but the skills of Salim seal the deal and it's befitting that the defending European champion does it in style, Sarah. He really did. You know, that last round was incredible. He controlled that round. You could almost see him not really losing that match at the end there. But, you know, for the Salim family to take home this medal, this European Championship gold medal, I'm sure will bring smiles to their faces in such a hard time. Yeah, wonderful moments, as you said, Sarah. Condolences at the start, congratulations at the end. And he's got the star quality as well. He has, you know, he's a little bit of a cool cucumber as well, isn't he? You know, and he's just very cool, knows what he's doing, and it is a joy to watch. Well, he certainly is a, a joy to watch, and we see some of the highlights going through. Gorkim started well with that punch, Sarah, but turned the tables, did Salim with it, a better second round. Yeah, I just think the variation and the quality just kind of stepped up in that second round for Omar Salim, but both are great athletes. It was just great to see the control from one athlete to the other and Omar just dominating that last round. Well, he did indeed dominate and he will get his rewards and you will get to see those rewards, but you'll also get to see plenty more of the Olympic Taekwondo here from the Manchester Regional Arena. Well, their work is done.
can go back and have the oranges or full time to recover. But it was the big boot from the back leg to the face that turned the tables in this one. Team Turkey were in the ascendancy, but it's going to be Polak Gorkim with a silver. And this man here, Omar Gergely Salim. On a poignant occasion, it was points that make prizes for him. The European champion once more.